Laser cut the number one carriage wall components found in this file. Glue the three pieces by spreading wood glue across the surface of the parts and clamping them together for two hours. Insert the large ball bearings into the carriage walls whilst the glue dries. Insert a washer into four of the quarter inch bolts. Insert the bolts plus washer combos into the bottom holes of the two carriage walls. The head of the bolt should be on the side of the small hole. Insert two washers, a small bearing, and secure with a nut to complete the carriage walls. Step number two. Cut the threaded bar to 19 and a half inches. Insert one number two wooden donut into the threaded bar so that the outside of the number two line of the formatting tool aligns up to the edge of the threaded bar. Insert the threaded bar and wooden donut into the PVC pipe. The wooden donut should be flush to the edge of the PVC pipe. Tap against the edge of a table to line things up. Mix the quick crete and fill the pipe with the mix leaving a quarter of an inch of empty space on the other end. Insert a number 2A wooden donut to cap the other end. It should be flush to the edge of the PVC pipe. Let cure for 24 hours. Insert the number 3 wooden rings to both ends of the roller. Step number 3. Cut the 3 quarters of an inch plywood to 17 inches by 24 inches to make the press bed. Cut 4 2 inch by 15 and a half inch bars. Home Depot will cut these for you if you don't have the appropriate cutting tools. They will charge a small fee for multiple cuts. With your metal hacksaw, saw the 3 quarters inch flat bars and the 3 quarters inch square tubing to 24 inches. Drill a hole in the center, an inch from the ends of the metal components. Precision is very important here. Use the formatting tool to help you do this. Drill holes on the press bed to match the holes of the metal pieces. Step number four. To assemble, screw the weld bar, square tubing, and the press bed together on one end with two of the quarter inch bolts, washers on both ends, and nuts. To make the press legs, glue or nail gun two of the two inch by fifteen and a half inch wooden bars from earlier. Repeat this step to complete the two press legs. Flip the press bed so that the side with the square tubing is face down. Use the width of the formatting tool to determine the placement of the press legs. Repeat this step on the other end for perfect symmetry. Glue or nail gun the legs to the press bed. Insert the carriage walls onto both ends of the assembled roller. Slide the semi-assembled roller carriage into the unbolted side of the press bed. Once inserted, bolt together the other side of the press bed with the remaining two quarter inch bolts, washers on both ends, and nuts. Straighten and jog to align as much as possible. Glue or nail gun the two number four carriage bars to secure the press's construction.
Mask all surfaces and paint with acrylic paint. For any questions, email info at format.xyz.